Tonight we're going pike fishing in the middle of the night and we're gonna find out if black lures really work better than light lures in pitch black conditions. This is up next. I have uh, high hopes on the dark colors. Oh. <laughs> I bought this! That take was crazy guys! Mythbusters in action. <laughs> Oh, yeah, yeah, good one! Oh, yeah! Show me that pike, man. <laughs> ah, the pike jumped <laughs> into the freaking boat. Rule number one when it comes to nighttime pike fishing is to use dark lures in order to create a maximum silhouette against the light sky. But the question is, is that true or just something that we've told ourselves for decades without even trying? Well, today we're here for you. We're gonna find out. We're gonna go pike fishing and we are gonna do a dark black lures versus light lures during night fishing yeah to find out if it actually makes sense or if it's just a theory that has stick with us for years yeah, exactly. so with me i have my good friend marcus grip we were out uh, last summer exactly one year ago i caught my biggest pike of the year it so was a really nice fish. yeah so i'm super excited to go fishing today but uh, marcus what do you think Will we see any difference today? I have uh, high hopes on uh, dark colors, but uh, who knows? Who knows? I mean, if you're not familiar with the theory, if no one has told you, when going fishing in dark conditions, the recommendation is to use black lures, since uh, that would create a maximum silhouette against the light uh, sky. That's what I hear from everyone talking about night, night fishing, is to use, use a dark lure, fish it uh, fairly close to the surface, so that the fish will see it from underneath, and go up and smack it. But the thought I've had in my head for the last few years is that does a black lure really create a better silhouette than let's say a white lure or is it more the lure itself no matter the color that creates this silhouette you know if you see a swan flying against a light sky that swan will still look dark you know black yeah. since it blocks the light from hitting your eyes so i think that we might be surprised today I think so too. We will uh, we'll see. But, let's uh, hope so at least. Yeah, let's uh, jump into the boat and go out here and see if we can find some pike. Let's do this. Catch a big pike. Boom! <laughs> All right. Let's do this, Marcus. Let's catch a big, big pike. <sighs> Look at this. The fog is just entering the river. It's uh, 10 p.m. The sun is about to go down and we have planned to do this for the whole night. My next scheduled time is breakfast at 8 o'clock, home in the cabin. Until then we have a lot of fun. For sure. Before we get this uh, shit rolling, I want to hear from you guys in the comments below. What do you think? Will we see a difference in uh, bites or, you know, result using the black lures compared to using the dark lures against this light sky? It never gets really pitch black here in Sweden during summer, but it's still gonna be night fishing. So uh, we have a big shallow area here in the middle of the river where usually it attracts a lot of bait fish and pike and stuff. So we're gonna start fishing around here. Let's go. Marcus, do you want to start with the black or light? I can start with uh, light bits. Now it's right after 10. We're gonna set the timer for one hour. And when this hour has passed, we're gonna change in order to eliminate the angler factor. We're gonna be real scientific today. Sometimes when we do these challenges, we get comments from, from you guys complaining that we're not fully scientific, since one of us might, may be using a flat nose shad and one of us may be using a hooligan roach. So today, the idea is that we are gonna use the exact same model of lure, so that we'll both be using a flat nose, for example, or hooligan roach. What do you think about starting with a flat nose shad? Sounds good. Cool. I have a whole bunch of nice looking lures. I have some photo fish lures, which I've designed with a black belly. I think that's that's what we're counting, the, the color of the belly. Yeah. Because that's what the fish will see. Exactly. And I have some of them which I've designed like a natural bait fish, but kind of reverse, you know. So I have a black belly and a light back. So it's gonna look crazy down in the water. So I think I'm gonna start with this one, I think. The upside down roach. Yeah, so we're gonna put this one against Hot pike power. <laughs> Hot pike. Yeah, I have a great mode on this one. Nice. I have two rod and reel combos that I'm gonna be using today. One bait casting, the Gator Big Bait Explorer, up to 180 grams, together with a Daiwa Tatula 200 HD. Super nice combo that I've been using this year for pike fishing. Really like this reel. It's a fairly small size, fits perfect in my hand while still being very powerful. I also have another setup, which I still haven't used in any video, and that's my new spinning pike combo. Also Gator Spinbait Explorer, 
up to 110 grass with a Daiwa Fuego 4000. So I think I'm gonna start with that. I need to catch my first pike on this combo. I've only tried it a few times from the shore. Since we're fishing on a big fish place today, I wanna make sure I have super sharp and good hooks. I'm gonna take one of these brand new m -war stingers. The stinger small, 1-0 size hooks. Looks like this. Our own stinger, which we are super proud of, with really high quality mustard hooks. The small one has, has red hooks, which looks great. Like that. Okay, let's go. We're just gonna cast around this, this shallow area. The fish can be anywhere. Oh, I had that, that was a big one. <laughs> no. Oh no, 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 no. Dang. Damn, Michael. First bite on the bicep. Oh man. Oh. Scheisse, on the horse bike. Well, that didn't take too long. Did the fish it shallow or with the weights? Shallow. Nice, man. You can see the weed down here, waving in the current. Oh, no, 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 scheisse. Yeah, I did. No, oh, it was, no. it was heavy, man. That was a heavy pike. No. I have no idea what I did. I didn't make a proper hook set. Right on top of, the, of this uh, sh big shallow no. area. What the heck are we doing, Marcus? Oh, man. <laughs> no. Oh. Well, man, <laughs> that's fact that we can just go home. We're not good at this. Ah, uh, we suck. The pain. Folks, the pain. You never want to lose a fish, but especially in this one. Yeah, but that take wasn't that hard. It was more a careful take, but then it got heavy. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, good one! Oh, oh so smaller, fish. smaller fish, okay. Well, we have the first pike of the evening here on Breitlers. What the take? Ah, it's a small guy. Oh, but not, it's so oh. damn strong. <laughs> oh man. Man. <laughs> now people, you can see this pike. Look how strong it is. Imagine to catch a 120 plus pike here. We're gonna show that later tonight. Uh, it's stuck in the Yes, look at that. First one of the evening on the hot pike. Show me the money. Bam. First one goes to Bright Lures. Yeah. Small guy, but... Uh, Real strong one, hot pike, as I told you. Against all the odds, we all <laughs> thought that dark lures were gonna do the trick. Mojo color. <laughs> yeah, but then the hot pike came from behind and uh, erased all our thoughts and theories. Well, it's uh, again, not uh, pitch black yet, nope. but we're getting there. But man, we have three bites now after, uh, what do we have? Well, we have fish like for 20 minutes or something. Yeah. Look how wide they are. Yeah. The body. This is what a mean the river pike looks like. That's why we do this, folks. The take the adrenaline. Yeah. Here we go. Let's uh, put this little guy by and uh, catch an even bigger one. Bye bye. How good did that feel? Uh, very good. Even <laughs> if it was just a small pike. Yeah. I, I don't care. Just uh, I want I want the bite. Yeah. <laughs> and that fight that, that and take, that fight and that, that take. take was I I I can't even explain it. You know, it was so damn hard. Even for that, you know, the pike was like 70 centimeters. Yeah. And you know, the fight and everything. <laughs> oh man! Oh man! Oh man! Now I want to catch one too. Yeah, me too. Bam! Let's take another one. Yeah, it's on. I'm gonna make such a hard hook set now if I get a bite. On the flat nose. Oh, no! No, 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 no! You have to stop doing that! Yeah, but now, now I had no chance. Almost tear the rod out of my hand. Came from underneath and just killed that pike. That was the bite of the year for me so far. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. What's going on, Marcus? Yeah. Well, if we're gonna talk about some, you know, tips and so on. When going fishing in the middle of the summer, as we are doing right now, it is a good idea to 
not go out in the middle of the day when you have full daylight and in, you know those nice summer days those should better be spent at work or at the beach with your family or maybe perch fishing or something yeah. but uh, it's it's when the sun goes down and during those light summer nights at least here in scandinavia that those uh, big pike go out to feed i'm actually gonna change over to my beloved bait casting combo like I said, I'm a bait casting guy and have always been, but I'm getting more and more into using spinning reels, both for perch, but now also for pike. But I would like to hear from you guys in the comments. When are you using bait casting and when are you using spinning and what's the pros and cons of each? I'm planning to do a video on that later this year to discuss some you know, ups and downs of each reel and, and the rod type. But I need your input first and I also need... <laughs> Ooh! <laughs> But damn, that was a hard, another hard take. Turning the boat. Oh, it's slightly bigger. Oh. Oh. Yeah, it's <laughs> Too freaking old, Marcus. You're killing it. You give me no chance. I told you. I have to <laughs> take on this color. <laughs> oh, man. Do you have a slightly bigger fish or about the same size? I don't know. I haven't got a good look at it, but I, it's not that. It's just strong. <sighs> Bye bye. That's why I love this kind of, you know, kind of fishing. They are so strong. Yeah, it's a little bit bigger, but <laughs> so freaking crazy. Okay. Now we have playing. Now we have done playing. I wanna keep casting. <laughs> yeah, I wanna catch a big one. Hot pike. Yeah, Evening hot fishing. Pike. Uh, bye bye. Oh, did it. Uh, no need for a shower nope. next morning. Show me the money once again. Pike number two of yeah, the evening. One, but look at me, you know, I'm wet. You're I'm soaked. Scared. You're soaked, man. Uh, well, you can't complain about this one. Look at the color. Awesome, man. Let's put it back. Maybe 80 something. What yeah. do you think? Yeah, like 85 or something. Yeah, just not. Bye bye. Oh, again. She said bye and thanks for the bite. Killing it. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's a lot of fun. Oh, five bites in the first half hour of fishing. Yeah. We have 25 minutes left on the, on the first hour. This was started the timer, so we should uh, have time for at least four more bites before this hour is over. <laughs> yeah. So the new theory is that uh, hot pikelers works best <laughs> during sunset. And they're all good sized fish. No monsters yet, but good sized ones. It's getting slowly, slowly darker. There's something with rivers, small or big. There's something special to them with the mood. They're mysterious in another way. Here we have the first alarm. That's the first alarm, yes. Well, so Marcus, what lures should we use now, I think? I have no idea. You can, you can pick colors. When I was looking through my lure stash at home yeah. for this trip, I actually found two old uh, wooden handmade jerk baits, which I can't even remember the name of. <laughs> they are, you know, almost walk the dog lures. They were working like in the surface, uh, kind of like a topwater lure. So I think that if we give these ones a few casts, we might not use them for a full hour, no. but uh, I think we might be up for some really cool takes if we get one to bite. Yeah. So black one for you. Yeah, thank you. And uh, silver kind of purple one for me. And uh, let's go. Just look at this. They're like fishing in the surface slash on top of the surface. Haven't used these for at least five, six years, I think. So now it's a good time to try them again. Next one hour starting now. Casting a big surface lure in the middle of the night. <laughs> Doing that for musk, yeah. yeah, and now we're really talking about you know the importance of silhouettes because now we're really talking about silhouettes fished on top of the surface like this. A few more casts from these jerk baits, and we might change over or to some soft baits again. Yeah. Well, we're gonna change lures and we're gonna change spot as well because now we've fished this uh, shallow area for a while. Look at this fog coming in. Not risky, but it's tight. 
time to change uh, lyric color so i'm gonna go over to this uh, transparent perch uh, pig shad now we're really going you know against what people are saying for night fishing this is the pig shad laban a black one marcus all-time favorite night fishing yeah. lure am i right yeah yep you have got some huge ones on this yeah. one and i'm going transparent the transparent perch which uh, should be the the worst choice for night fishing really with yeah. a transparent color well it has a dark back so it still should make a good silhouette but let's see one hour of this let's go and finishing place yeah. like we said we fished this uh, big shallow area now and now we're going closer to the edge of the river where we have a little bit of deep hole outside and uh, yeah, gonna try different kind of place and see what happens. Super stoked. Not too long until we're hitting midnight. Oh, I got this! Good! Awesome, man! This is a small guy. Oh, I'm strong! <laughs> Holy shit! Oh, it's a nice one. It's a nice one. Oh, yeah, yeah. Longer than I thought, first. Oh, yes! Oh, it's bigger than mine. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, yeah, that's big. Ooh. That's big. Can you take it yourself? Yeah, I can or? take it. Yeah. Yeah, don't lose it. Nope. That take was crazy, guys! <laughs> I'm gonna try to not lose her. Well, my first pike of the evening, the night. We're closing up on midnight, and this is a nice pike on that uh, pig shad transparent perch. <laughs> oh, yes. Well done. Thanks. This is the biggest one so far, I think. Yeah, it is. But uh, we're just gonna release her back really quick. But uh, yeah, this is a nice one. We gave her a quick measure, and she's 92 centimeters. Bye bye, pike. Bye bye. I uh, well, really messed things up, but man, 3-0 yeah. to bright lures, or the, the light colored ones. So this uh, black lures <laughs> uh, thing that we've been thinking all our lives yeah. is not really true so far. No. Nope. But man, 92 centimeters, and that take and that fight. Yeah, it was a good fight. And that's actually my biggest pike of the year so far, because I haven't done a lot of fishing, mostly in, in my home lake from the shore and so on. Yeah. So that was uh, a lot of fun. This video is sponsored by Coca-Cola. <laughs> Not. I'm more the coffee type of guy. Yeah. Listen to that sound. We have actually passed midnight. It's uh, 10 past 12. <sighs> this is nice. Oh, no. That's the changing alarm. Repeat, one hour. Yeah. So, time to change lure. Yeah. I'm thinking hooligan roach, maybe. Yeah, I was uh, thinking that too, so let's go for it. Let's go for hooting and roach. That's my go-to lure for pike fishing in dark conditions. So I guess you will take the smoky. I will take the smoky. And then I will go for my favorite color, uh, blue search. I have one. This is what we're doing now. Big ass lure, black color to get that maximum silhouette. Well, this one slept with a hot pike, I think, in my box. And I also lost a paddle on this guy, so I've glued on another paddle from another hooting and roach. So now we're doing. Smoky versus blue searcher. Holding a roach. Yeah. Let's go. Oh, Fish! Oh, yeah, dude! <laughs> I was fishing in the weeds. I remember that someone Fish on. used to twitch his baits in the weeds and I did the same. I caught a pike. Nighttime pike. It's uh, 20 minutes past uh, midnight. <laughs> and we have the fourth pike of the evening yeah. on the light colored yeah. one. So 4 0. <laughs> <laughs> Man, look. Oh, I don't know. It's a good thing. Oh, I think I will. Fuck, I'm not going to go. Maybe do something. He <laughs> oh, jumped into my hand! <laughs> oh. That didn't feel too good. I have, a, I have a tooth in my hand. Oh no! Well, 20 minutes past midnight, we have a nice pike in the boat on the blue searcher. 
<laughs> Almost the same size that, as mine. That has, that has never happened. The pike literally jumped <laughs> into the fishing rod. I, I made a high five to that pike, <laughs> to, to her mouth. I, look, I have a teeth in my hand. I have two teeth in my hand. Oh, oh f*** that. Oh, well, Okay, yeah. let's uh, let's do that uh, soon, but now uh, let's have a look at that pike. Well, pike number four, four O to light lures. Yeah. If I take away this uh, light now, yeah. you can see what we're dealing with. Yeah. <laughs> this is uh, night time pike fishing. Pretty heavy one. Yeah. Show me the back. Oh yeah, look at those colors. Oh, she's angry, she's angry. I was like calling her out, like do something. Yeah. I want you in slow-mo. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit. Well, okay, let's uh, unhook this one and then take care of my hand before the pain sets in because this is not going to be nice. Oh shit. Damn, no. High five, Pike. Ay, ay, ay. Let's see anything. Let's put it back. Yeah, let's put it back. Bye-bye. <laughs> okay, now. We have scratched up my whole arm, my whole hand. I have some nice bite marks, like a soft bait like this. And I have two teeth in here. Um, there we have one. <laughs> the pike yeah, did a dentist shit. Yeah, he needed a teeth removal. Yeah. <laughs> so, number two. I can feel I have one more here. Man, we need to fix that. I have a third teeth stuck in here. I think I maybe got it out. Luckily, my my wife is a nurse. <laughs> yeah, that's so, so no need to go to the hospital. You are bleeding like a lot. <laughs> Take this uh, for uh, a lesson, people. Like, be really, really careful. Oh, I think I have some kind of first aid kit with me. If I haven't, I'm gonna slap myself <laughs> in my face because you should always bring your first aid kit. This can happen to everyone, even the best. Yeah. So. <laughs> well, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> no, but. <laughs> well, that's a, that's a good reminder, folks, to always bring a first aid kit and be careful with these pike. Yeah. Because they, even though they're, they seem to be calm, they yeah. can uh, suddenly, all of a sudden... They mm -hmm. have teeth for, for a reason. <laughs> yeah, that pike came like, high five bro, <laughs> with his mouth. <laughs> well, that might be the first and last time I want to see that. Yeah, pike jumping into the boat. <sighs> Holy macaroni, man. <laughs> Four freaking O to light lures. <laughs> Mythbusters in action. <laughs> but this makes me think of, you know, how much do they actually use their visual sense during the night? Or in, you know, I mean, overall, or how much percentage of their hunting is based on their visual sight compared to, you know, they have a smell, they have scent, and they have their vibrations they, they, they use the lateral line to feel movement in the water which i think might be one of the, of the main things first of all let me let me see the, this one yeah. so here we have a you know white belly color here we have a black color do we actually see a difference when presented like this well here on the gopro i would say it looks like they both are black yeah because they're blo both blocking that light so that's the thing the first thing that I think why I'm starting to think that those black lures might not really. I mean, it's it's a good idea on paper that they would make an even better better silhouette. Yeah. But I think first of all that those light lures make exactly the same silhouette. I mean, next year we should try fully transparent yeah. uh, versus black. Yeah. Because uh, I think that they might be using the the lateral line and they, they're feeling the vibrations yeah. more than they use the visual sight. Uh, I mean, uh, during the nights. During the nights, and I mean, maybe overall. Yeah, I'm yeah. not sure. I mean, there there are waters with extremely muddy water, yeah. where if you would dive down there with a diving mask, you wouldn't see a shit. No. I mean, more than one centimeter. Yeah. And there are fish in those places that can still hunt. Exactly. And there are fish hunting in pitch black conditions. I mean, yeah. now I have a little bit of light, but there are fish that are able to hunt in absolutely darkness. I often visualize the pike be standing in the water like this, and then when they hear something moving from a far distance, maybe they start turning around, you know, turning the head against what they hear or what they feel with the lateral line, yeah. moving closer, that lure is moving closer. So I think that you have the attention of the pike way before the pike can see the lure. Yeah, exactly. 
and maybe it's different in different waters. And here, for example, we're quite far up north in Sweden. And during the summer, we have more or less light all day round, you know, in the middle of the night. But during winter, during winter, man, <laughs> we, we don't have much light. Nope. <laughs> I mean, there are a few months yeah. with barely no light at all. It's like this at the best yeah. <laughs> in the middle of the day. And the pike in those places, they need to learn hunting in yeah. dark. I mean, in the absolute darkness where when you have one meter of ice and one meter of snow covering the whole shit and the full darkness <laughs> imagine uh, those places uh, with mur with murky water yeah and combined with uh, you know in the winter ice snow winter no <laughs> light well we're not gonna make this a two hour long video so i'm gonna stop rambling now <laughs> but uh, i'm looking forward to hear your thoughts in the comments Marcus is hooked up. Oh, big it's oh. oh yes, man. We are trying some new water drifting over some deep water. Yeah. And uh, Marcus got hooked up. <laughs> uh, it's the biggest fish of the day, I think. Might be. Oh, Thanks for that, Howard. <laughs> she loves a <laughs> We're over deep water. Uh, yeah, you know, it's an angry lady. I'm gonna stay yeah, away from this biggest, pike today. It's the biggest one for today, for sure. Uh, what did it take? Like two minutes? Yeah. I don't, uh, we moved over to some, some new water that none of us have actually fished really. Nope. In the middle of the river, over deep water, like eight to ten meters. Yeah. What the take? Holy shit. Let's do this drift again. All on the hot pike. That's a big. Oh, close to meter. Fish. Close to meter. Yeah. Super wide. Uh, in the soon to be sunrise. Bye bye. Oh, yeah. Show me that pike, man. There you go. Biggest pike of the day. Yeah. All on okay. the hot pike. We need to fix this quick. Yep, <sighs> quick and hook. Okay. Yeah, we have to do it here, like that. Oh, that's a mean pike. We gave it a quick measurement, okay. close to meter. Adios, pike. Bye bye. <laughs> What's happening? Oh. I have no oh, idea. Oh shit, that's mean. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I, stand, I, I, I have no words. Oh, that was a strong pike. Yeah, it's a really strong pike. You know, 98 give or take because it yeah, was you're... a little bend. Yeah, so maybe it was maybe one, uh, Maybe it's just a meter, but yeah. it was well, a really nice fish. When those pike are fighting that hard, you need to be quick yeah. to get them back in the water. So. It's uh, 18 degrees in the water, so yeah. we have to be really, very, very fast. Yeah. She didn't like me, I can tell you that. <laughs> well, we have a similar experience today. Yeah. So uh, then we know that we have been doing something great, at least. Yeah, exactly. Bam. Hello, beaver. Are you also looking for a night pike? Or maybe the night pike will soon be looking for you? You know, we have big ones in here. I wouldn't want to hook into a beaver. No, I have, I've done that. No. Oh, <laughs> can't be too much fun. Coming for you. We drifted down this uh, edge when uh, fighting and releasing that pike. Yeah. So now we're going back up. What is this? Is this a shallow point out there? Oh, oh no. Oh. It was a pike. Oh, yeah, hard take. No. Hold, hold still here. First it was uh, uh, stuck in the bottom and yeah. then when reading off that yeah, missed take when moving here. So we're going to anchor up here on this rock that we found. So I'm gonna give my perch combo a few casts, see if we can catch some nice perch. Because uh, I haven't done a lot of perch fishing this year, so it would be fun to catch something nice. And I know this river holds perch too. Oh, perch on! <laughs> I just had to try some perch fishing because we saw some nice... Oh, it isn't. Yeah. The oh. biggest perch of the year, I think. <laughs> awesome, man. Almost, yeah. Maybe we should, we should try some perch. Yeah, let's try some perch. Yeah. Take a break. Yeah. Let me take a break from uh, casting heavy rubber baits. Yeah. All my photo fish designed Flat Nose Mini motor oil with some golden scales. I call it the, the golden carp or motor oil carp or something like that. Bye bye, beautiful perch. Mm. 
Var är det? Oh, 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 oh. Ska vi dra dit eller? Okay, so we saw a perch chasing in the surface now. And whatever you're doing in life, if you see a perch chase uh, in the surface, drop whatever you're doing and go there. Because that's so damn fun. We'll notice soon. Oh, fish on. That's a big, big, big perch or a pike. But it might. It's a big, big, big perch. It's my biggest ever popper perch, I think. I mean, it looks like a big perch. Oh, yes, that's a big perch. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Oh man, this is a nice perch. This is a big perch. Ooh, ooh, ooh. That's a big one. There we go. Double hook. Ooh, this is a nice one. Is this a little bit bigger? Time flies when you're having fun. And man, we have had some crazy fun tonight. Yeah. So it's seven o'clock in the morning. Yeah. And what happened was that uh, around three o'clock you caught your 98 centimeter pike. Yeah. And then we saw some perch chasing in the surface. So we have spent the last four hours uh, mainly targeting perch yeah. with some great success. So yeah. we decided to even make a separate episode from that. And as soon as that episode will be on YouTube, you can find it on this uh, link up here. It includes my personal best topwater yeah. perch. and Really big one. Yeah, really nice and big topwater perch. Oh. Super beautiful morning. We gave it a few more attempts with the uh, pike lures, but didn't manage to catch anything more no. at all. Not a single Pike. So, what's the score for this challenge? We have five, right? Five. Yeah. yeah. Not a single pike on the black lures, which was our. I was hundred uh, percent, you know, that we're going to catch every single pike in Laban. Yeah. These are not scientific, one hundred percent truth, but at least for my part, that kind of verifies what I thought. That's yeah, me too. <laughs> maybe. You know, the, the color doesn't really matter as much as we have thought. So, uh, well, as always, very interesting challenge. The discussion can go on. It's probably different in every water as well. So let us know in the comments what you guys think about this uh, matter. You know, lure color for night fishing. But uh, yeah, that was it for today. Make sure to follow Marcus on Instagram. He's the real king. He's been rowing the boat for the whole day, <laughs> letting me fish. <laughs> All the gear used in this episode can be found up here. If you like what we do, make sure to subscribe up here. And if you like this video, I think you will also like this one and this one. See you guys next time.